as here. Good boy. Okay, Kaz, you ready to do a recall video? All right, we got our collar on. We got our long line, just in case we're not going to need it. But if you're training a puppy, you want to make sure he's always on a long line inside the house so you can give corrections from anywhere. All right. And so the way we start this out is we just give him a little some of this fruit. We let him know we got some fruit. Now we're going to take, so we got big pieces and little pieces. So we're going to take a little piece. We're going to show him. We're going to throw it across the room. Once he gets to it, as soon as he's done, we say, Kaz, here. Yes. And then we'll give him some more. All right, we'll do the same thing. We'll throw it. As soon as he's about done eating, we say, Kaz, here. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Kaz, here. Yes. Good boy. And then you just repeat that process over and over again and just keep at it. And eventually... He will come whenever you ask him to. Good boy. So that's step one. This isn't the perfect way to train a dog to recall. This is just the way I trained him. Okay. Step two. Restrained recall. So you're going to have a partner hold your dog. You're gonna show him what you got for him. Hey, look at this. And then we're gonna come over here. And set it down where he knows he can get to it. Kaz, here. Yes. Now, if you have a puppy, when you do this, your puppy is going to be pulling really hard against your partner. Now, he's trained pretty good at this point, so he wasn't really trying to pull on her. But you want them, you want the puppy to pull. You want him to be trying to get away from the person. The more restraint, the better. It will build more drive to get to you. You always want, you always want to try to build the drive, and there always wants to be a big reward. 